Hi everybody, I'm Janine and you're watching Journals and Journeys. And today I have a specific fan story for you. It's actually one of my own and as you can gather from the title, it's going to be about how a concert completely changed my life. And I could talk about this for hours on end, to be honest. Alone, the band and their songs, I could talk for about them for hours and hours. But in order to keep myself from rambling, I actually jotted down a few notes so I know what I actually want to talk about. And let's get into the video. So, what band am I actually talking about? I'm talking about a band called Counterfeit. They're a British punk rock band from 2015 and currently they are working on their second album. I discovered them only in the summer of 2016, shortly before I went to the States for a 12-week program there. And during that time I just completely fell in love with the band and their music. They just blew me off my feet. I'd never listened to the genre of punk rock. I didn't even know punk rock existed. I guess I kind of knew that punk and rock existed, but I wasn't really listening to that either. So it came to quite a surprise to a couple people that I was into that kind of music. But it just connected with me in a way that up to that point, actually no music ever really had. But that is kind of a story of its own, and I'm noticing I'm already getting sidetracked, so back to the concert. Originally, when their album, when the first album, Together We're Stronger, see, I'm wearing appropriate clothing here, came out in 2017, in February, and they announced the tour, I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the tour, so let's see where they have dates. So, we booked a ticket to uh, the show in Praten, which is near Basel, and all good. So, the day rolls around, it was the 10th of April 2017. Yes, I do still remember the date because it was an absolutely life-changing day. I got into my car, my mom actually came along. She wasn't gonna come to the concert, no way. But she didn't want to let me drive there alone and then come home from the concert alone because, yeah, my mom and all kinds of punk rock related stuff, that just doesn't mesh. She was kind of worried for me, so she wanted to come along and I was like, fine, you drive there with me, then I also have someone to calm my nerves. I arrived there and turns out the meet and greet would happen after the show. So I was already super hyped, super nervous for the meet and greet, and it would happen after the show. Why? Because the boys got held up at the Swiss border, I believe, because they were coming up from, up from Italy. So yeah, um, after a while we actually got led into the venue and it was very different from what I expected. I'd never really been to a concert, or not been to a concert myself, and it was actually like a big whole thingy and the stage looked tiny compared to the size of the actual venue and I went straight for the stage I was like I want to be front row which ended up being like one and a half row but that's fine we were just sat there in front of the stage waiting for everything to finally start suddenly she just like points up and I turn around and there is this barrier that's a little higher and there must have been a step ladder or something behind it because suddenly I just see each individual band member's head pop up and they were talking about something and it just it reminded me of some sort of comic scenario where you just have like little moles in their holes and they just like pop out and then pop back down I don't know I was just very emotionally overwhelmed in that moment I just started laughing out quite loud and people that know me know I have a very, very loud and very obnoxious laugh. And it kind of echoed. In that whole whole thingy, it kind of echoed. So I clap my hands over my mouth. People stare at me, look at me weird, like, what the f is going on with her? Sorry, probably shouldn't be swearing. But they were like, what the hell's going on with her? And uh, yeah, that actually led to a concert highlight later, but I'll get to that. So eventually everything started happening. The first support band came up, which was uh, Decade. They were kind of a nice vibe. I was starting to get into it, starting to 
experience that live concert energy for the first time and then came Tigress which are a band I still listen to nowadays and I really enjoy their music and I really started being in the moment which for me already was a change because I'm someone that lives in their head a lot or used to live in their head a lot I've gotten a lot better at that but during Tiger's songs I was really drawn into the here and now for most part and what was also kind of funny was the crowd around me for most part they didn't seem very excited about the support bands actually not excited at all but I was like you know what screw this I'm here to have fun so I started jumping around and bobbing my head all the time which was a first for me it was absolutely a first for me to just start go all out go with the music I had no idea what they were playing I didn't know any of the songs but I was like hey I'm just gonna enjoy every single second and I told myself that I'm gonna enjoy every single second and there's no one gonna stop me and I'm not gonna care that hardly any of the other people are actually moving and they're gonna look at me funny because I'm they're going insane no I'm not gonna care I'm gonna do this for me and then came counterfeit my nerves I tell you before they took the stage my nerves gosh yeah I was all over the place and any one of you that sees the one of the favorite artists for the first time knows that feeling where you just uh, you're just way too excited and you want to calm yourself but that's only like half possible and then they hit with the first note and they go into their set and I'm just lost I've never experienced it in such a way I just completely got lost in their music it's almost like a big wave that just swept me up and whirled me around I was singing, I was screaming, I was jumping around and enjoying myself and the energy that I experienced there it's indescribable and unparalleled it is a type of energy I have for one part experienced doing two things one is being on a big stage and speaking to a big crowd of people and the second is at concerts those two energies are different but they're similar in the way that they completely uplift me they manage to put me in a higher mindset and a higher state of being basically and the intensity would, would it hit me and out of the blue basically that happened at that gig it just sticks with me until today and is one of the reasons why I'm actually sat here today talking about it and don't even let me get let, see see I get very riled up about this and counterfeit has not only been a first for me in that experience the first of many many concerts and festivals and stuff but no they've been a first for me in the sense of Moshpitz for example let me tell you, that was one of the absolute concert highlights it was my first ever mosh pit I had never seen one, been in one, didn't know what one is and since I was at the very front, people started spreading out into a circle and I was like, wait, what? what the hell is happening? and then came the drop I'm actually not too sure during what song that was but and then suddenly everyone just started running around in a circle bumping into each other and I was hella confused, I had no idea what was going on and then there, this girl came and she just grabbed my arm, pulled me into the pit and I was terrified for the first couple seconds, I was like oh my god, oh my god, what am I gonna do, what is happening, why is everyone jumping around and bumping into me I was, yeah, very nervous so I just like fought my way back to the front row and I was like okay, I'm gonna stay here, okay, breathe and then what happens two songs later? Another mosh pit starts up. And who's one of the first people to jump into it? Me. Yes. I feel like mosh pits can be great fun. I like them at smaller venues. At festivals, they tend to be a little more dangerous because they're a lot bigger and there's a lot of huge dudes in them. But there, 
Well, thankfully, so I didn't get hurt, except for a couple bruises, but that is normal. And I really enjoyed myself. I felt very badass, just like running into these other people, and everyone felt as one. It felt like the whole room was one living, breathing organism. The energy that wasn't there during the support bands, or just growing during the support bands, was totally above and beyond during that part of the gig. And it blew me away. The whole thing just blew me away. And then uh, twice Jamie came into the crowd, once for Letters to the Lost, which is a super emotional song. And it was the first time I teared up at a concert. I admit it, I'm not one to cry easily. Honestly, I'm not. But something about that whole moment, about the rawness and the realness, it touched me so deeply that I couldn't hold back the tears. There was no way. And I started crying. And it was over. It was over way too quickly. I could have done with a couple more hours of that, but I'm sure you guys know that. Every concert lover knows that, that concerts are always over way too quick. And I didn't come down from the high, even though it finished. I was so full of energy. I felt like I was buzzing. I felt like I was vibrating. And I was in the best possible mood. I hadn't been in such a good mood, I hadn't been so happy and I don't know for how long. And then I got into line for the meet and greet. Boy, I was nervous. I was nervous. And the girl I was with, she was all over the place as well. So that didn't make me feel as crazy. Because I was obviously, I, I want to be a normal person because they are normal people. They are just normal people that happened to change my life and that I got really excited to finally meet and they're great musicians and they seem like very nice people as well so yeah I was very excited to meet them so I go there and just in Rome they were super nice I actually kind of talked to both of them at the same time and I asked them to get to sign my picture which I guess I'll show you guys now this is actually it I have we have Tristan's signature, Roland's, I believe, that is Jamie, Sam and Jimmy, I think, I am not too sure. Yeah, that would actually make sense that they sign, <laughs> the, that they sign above their name, but yes, this is what I got signed, and it's been hanging above my bed ever since, which is also why this is hella dusty. But, let me just keep this here, actually. And then I moved on to Jamie after that, and he was super nice, gave me a hug, and what he said was, you were the girl with the loud laugh, right? Yep. By his side, was just like, what? Why? Why would you say something like that? I struggled to stay composed at that moment. I really struggled with it. Because why would he know that's my laugh? But hey, I was like, okay. And then he keeps on continuing. He was like, yeah, also, by the way, you were like right in front of me, like in the second row, right? And totally smash it. You were nailing all the lyrics. And we need people like you at our gig that just bring that energy. Makes things way more fun. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Everybody are any fan that has been looking forward to meeting a band or an artist for that long and then hears something like that from the artist? Yeah, there is no way to describe that. And yeah, Jamie basically finished our conversation with saying, hope to see you at another show. And I was like, hey, yep, that is going to happen. That is going to happen as soon as I can make it happen. And I must say, they were such nice people, and it, it wasn't like a few seconds you had with them, but you could have a proper short conversation with them, and I don't know what I was expecting, but that was definitely not it. So when the concert finished, I w went outside and I just walked in circles like crazy, because I had so much energy that was pent up inside me still, and I had so much enthusiasm that was just like bottling up, 
that's like, okay, I need to move, I need to get this energy out of my system. I went into bed, I lay down, I closed my eyes, and I could not sleep. I was awake the entire night. I was happy. I was just too happy. Got up in the morning, got ready, was just super enthusiastic about everything. I drove home, felt like I'd slept for hours on end, though I hadn't slept a single minute. And that energy, that level of energy, motivation, and the feeling of, yes, I was at the right place at the right time. Something happened in me, something changed. That feeling just wouldn't go away for two, three weeks. My parents were even noticing it. They were like, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you in love? And I was like, yep, I am in love with this music. And I was, and I still am. So for me, after that experience, I needed more. So I went online, I looked, okay, where are they performing next? And I saw they would perform at Southside Festival 2017. And there we come to another first that Counterfeit gave me. They gave me my first festival. I'd never been to a festival, I didn't even think I would ever go to one. But hey, I saw their name on the lineup, and I bought the ticket. I don't even know who I'm gonna go with, but I'll just buy the ticket. It'll all work out. That is something I've also been learning over the years. Sometimes things just have a way of working themselves out. So one of my now close friends I got close with because of the festival. Uh, this one night at a party we were just chatting. He was like, yeah, I'm going to this festival this summer with my friends. I was like, oh, what festival? And he was like, yeah, Southside. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going there as well. And he asked me, so who are you going with? I was like, ah, uh, so far I'm going by myself. He was like, yeah, no, come with us, just stay with us, there's room in my tent, and a couple other friends are coming, it'll be a great time, so I was like, yep, yeah, I'm in, let's do that. I, I hadn't even been camping ever in my life, and I decided to go to a festival. And now, I'm sat here almost two years later, doing my third festival summer, and again, it's going to be two festivals this year. That's how quickly you can graduate from a festival newbie to a camp mom. All that is because of counterfeit. And another thing is because of counterfeit. I actually met my ex because of counterfeit. And that was at said first Southside festival. We went to the first gig together and we ended up going to almost every gig after that. And we really bonded at the festival. Over the music he showed me this whole music world well, basically more or less introduced me to it. What Counterfeit had started, he had continued. And that is also where Counterfeit indirectly changed my life. They helped me get into this relationship, but they also helped me when everything went rogue. Because as happy and over the moon as I seem while explaining all this with my life at the time, that wasn't the case. After finishing high school, I felt incredibly lost. I felt I was without a purpose. Yes, I was in university and I was kind of enjoying my course, but I didn't really know what to do with myself or my life, to be honest. And I was angry. I was angry that I felt like I failed. That is also why the music connected with me so much, because it was all this raw, honest anger that is expressed. And I just related to that so much. And instead of getting better, which I hoped that would happen through that one relationship, it got worse and worse and worse and I started losing myself even more. And then when that relationship came to an end eventually, it was also counterfeit that played a role once again. The song Lost Everything. I'm talking to you, so shut your mouth, darling. Almost perfectly described how I felt about that breakup. It helped me free myself, it helped me free my mind. And after the relationship ended, I was like, okay, I am at the lowest point I've ever been in my life. And now it's either make or break it. That was shortly before the summer of 2018. And I decided I would pick myself up and turn my life around. I went to London to visit a friend in the summer of 2018. And my friend was 
doing an internship at the time, so you didn't have as much time, so I strolled around the city a lot by myself. And one of the days I walked to Blackfriars Bridge because the song Addiction by Counterfeit has a verse where it says, standing on Blackfriars Bridge hoping that it's all over. Check my post to see if I'm still there because I feel that they're closer. My amazing mind. Oh, yeah, no. But that part, and I really wanted to stand on Blackfriars Bridge. And I went on to Blackfriars Bridge. I put in the song and I looked down at the water. I closed my eyes, listened to the song, and I opened my eyes. And in that moment, I realized how far I'd come. Not too long before that, I would have been right in the mood, right in the vibe of that song. Standing on Blackfriars Bridge, hoping that it's all over. Just wanting everything to stop because I felt so lost. But I returned and I, for the very first time in months, in almost a year, I felt free. I felt totally and utterly free. And I felt myself, and I felt happy with who I turned into. Also, all that change that came with music, how music really changed my life. It all really started out with Counterfeit. It all really started out with that concert. I couldn't be more thankful for that band. And all I want to do is really, if I, and I know I will get the chance to look at them in the eye and say thank you. Thank you for changing my life. And to some people, if you've made it this far into the video, all this might seem very strange and it may be a little bit over exaggerated saying that this has changed my life. But no, it has in a direct manner and an indirect manner. So many things that have happened only happened after and because of that music and if you've experienced something like this yourself you will understand but for everyone else really the purpose of this video for one is being like hey music is one of the most powerful and therapeutic things out there and is so readily available it can bring you together as a community, it can help you find who you are, it can help you get through difficult times, it can lift you up, it can sometimes break you down if you need that little mellow moment or that little leave me alone moment. Music is the way to go. And I just hope that every single one of you out there will have the chance to experience something like this, to have your life be impacted by music in this way. All right, everybody, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and congratulations if you made it this far into the video. Please leave a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!